Recall we want to descend the gradient of the air by delta W i j equal minus alpha derivative of the air for the example e with, with respect to W i j. So uh, we're going to need to calculate this term. And this term is could be written as a partial derivative of e with respect to z j, which is the weighted sum of the W x i j, times the derivative of z j with respect to W i j. So uh, we know that z j is the weighted sum, sum of W i j x i j for all i's, right? So that's going to be um, the derivative for a specific w, each w i j would be x i j. So we could replace this value by this value. So we are left with calculating now this term here, which is the partial derivative of e for the example e with respect to z j. So we're going to be able to write delta w i j now as minus alpha times derivative of e with respect to z j times x i j. We consider two cases because we have seen that the j could be either in the hidden, hidden layer or in the output layer. So in calculating the derivative of e with respect to zj, we depend um, on the actually on whether the, the neuron is in the middle or at the end. So case one, neuron j is the output neuron, and case two, neuron j is the hidden neuron. So let's see how we calculate uh, this derivative in the two cases. In the first case in which we have neuron j is the output is an output neuron, we're going to write the derivative, the partial derivative of the error uh, with respect to zj as the partial derivative of e with respect to oj, uh, which is the outcome of the neuron j, times the derivative of oj with respect to zj. So we have now two terms. Let's calculate each of them separately. So first of all, the derivative of e with respect to oj, we start by writing what's the e. So remember, the error of a training example e is summed over all the output uh, neurons in the network, which means that we're going to take the k output, see the difference between yk and ok, which is the, uh, the what, what actually we are supposed to find minus what the network is giving us. So we're going to square this to avoid you know, handling the negation. So this is the derivative of this function here with respect to oj. OK, so this will lead us to what? To uh, the partial derivative of this function with respect to OJ, in which we are going just to focus on the jth um, uh, neurons because uh, this sum is over all the k output neurons. So the der partial derivative of this value here is 2 times uh, this value times the derivative of this value. So it's going to be half times 2 times y minus OJ times the partial derivative of this value here with respect to oj, which finally will lead us to the formula minus yj minus oj. So this is uh, this first term here is simply um, this value here. Okay, We're now going to do a similar calculations for the second term, partial derivative of oj with respect to zj. And this is actually, in this case, oj is g of zj. This is the sigmoid function of the weighted sum of the inputs. So remember, we picked this function, sigmoid, because we could calculate the, der der the partial derivative of this function. So the partial derivative of the sigmoid function for some variable z is, with respect to z, with respect to z, is uh, g of z minus 1 minus g of z. So this is um, the partial derivative that we could deploy here. In this case, we know that g of z is actually our output, oj, right? So I could just replace that by oj, in which case we will have the, this term here being equal to oj times 1 minus oj. So we have these two values here that we could put and replace in the formula to calculate uh, what's the derivative of the error with respect to zj. So we're going to plug these two terms back into derivative of e with respect to zj, which will make this, um, this combination here of the difference between yj, oj, oj times 1, 1 minus oj. We calculate this. Uh, w, uh, the, the delta wij, the difference we need to make to descend the gradient, as the alpha times uh, minus alpha times this term, which will lead us to alpha times uh, this term times xij. So this is recall that uh, we uh, we were um, aiming to find this term because delta wij is minus alpha times the derivative of e with respect to zj times xij from our previous slide. So we're just re replacing actually this term here. Right, plug it in here to get this final formula that allows us to update the weights. This is the update of the weights when the neuron is in the output. Okay, so I'm going to note in the following uh, delta j, which is the error for the neuron j, as minus the derivative of e uh, with respect to zj. Okay, so in this case, we're going to write delta wj in a simpler way as alpha times del delta j times xij. So this was for the first case where the neuron j is actually the output neuron. 
Now, in the case where the neuron J is in a neuron in the hidden layer, which means that we have um, uh, our hidden layer neurons, one of them is J, and this neuron is actually fully connected to the output layer uh, in which we have K um, uh, output, output neurons. Right? We're talking between the connection of J to the one of the neurons K. These are called successors of J. Any, of the, any, any one of them is one of the successor. Remember, we want to be able to propagate back this error. So I'm going to calculate the error at the level J as the, you know, the sum of the errors for the, the successors of, uh, of J. So this, the this partial derivative of the error with respect to ZJ can be written as the sum of the partial derivative of the error with respect to ZJ for all successors of G ZJ. This can be broken down into partial derivative of E with respect to ZK times the partial derivative of zk with respect to zj. Remember, this term here, we actually um, called it, this term, we called it delta k. And this, uh, actually, we know how to calculate it. We are left with the second term here, delta zk with respect to zj. So uh, this can be written as, again, as delta zk with respect to oj. Uh, times the, the partial derivative of OJ with respect to ZJ. So we're going to break down the information so as we could uh, take into consideration that actually for a neuron K, we are going to have outputs OJ from uh, this input. And um, the Z, Z of K for this um, value here, Z of K, is actually uh, the sh weighted sum of all the OJ for the J coming into, into K. So the partial derivative of ZK with respect to OJ is simply WJK, which is actually uh, the weight of this connection here, this one. So going uh, to have the um, Z of K would be actually the weighted sum of WJK times OJ for all the inputs. And if we derive the respect to OJ, we get the weight WJK times the partial derivative of OJ with respect to ZJ. OK, I told you there are lots of indices, lots of, indices, lots of notations, but it's actually uh, simple derivations at dif different levels. So uh, we are going to replace then this value here. Remember, this value was calculated before. Uh, the partial derivative of OJ with respect to ZJ, we know that now it's, it is um, uh, OJ times 1 minus OJ. So we can now put everything together. We're going to call delta J, which is the error for the neuron J, as minus the partial derivative of E with respect to ZJ, which is OJ times 1 minus OJ, because this is, uh, has nothing to do with the, the sum of the successor of A. So this can co come out of the, the summation. Uh, sum of delta K, WJK. So, and this will actually constitute our uh, delta J for a neuron J in one of the hidden uh, in the hidden layer, one of the nodes in the hidden layer.